Good afternoon, Vikes. My name is Allie, and you are watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. There has been a recent change in the mask mandates for Shawnee County. We caught up with a few staff members about it. So the new rules for the masks are we do not accept the gaiters, we do not accept bandanas, and we do not accept um, masks that have filters. Um, part of the reason for that is because masks need to fit over your nose and under your chin. They need to be um, snug, but not too tight. You need to be able to talk and breathe um, easily in them. And bandanas and gaiters especially did not provide that kind of security. Well, just the criteria that, you know, our nurse went over with everyone, they'll see the difference in the different types of masks. But from my understanding, it's going to be something that looks a lot like this that can cover your face properly and ensure to provide for your safety and the safety of others. Make sure you are following the new rules. This week is Red Ribbon Week. In honor of the Students Against Destructive Decisions, they wanted to do a cahoot that brings awareness of the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse. Teachers, please check your email from Mrs. Shove from the Kahoot League. Please send Reese Adams the winner of your seminar with their points, first and last name. If you want to join Seaman Fine Arts Booster Club before the fall radio play, It's a Wonderful Life, on November 12th, you can get four free tickets to the play and the spring musical. If you are a new member, you will get a free free Fine Arts Booster Club t-shirt. We had a few students participate in a spooky trivia for Halloween. Let's check it out. We are playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Halloween version. And welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader Halloween edition. shivers down your spine. your soul. Seal your Is a pumpkin a fruit or vegetable? It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable. Is a pumpkin a fruit or vegetable? Vegetable. Vegetable. It's a fruit. You are both wrong. I think you're wrong. No. <laughs> Each year, about how many pounds of candy corn is produced? Uh, it's a lot. 500 million. <laughs> Four tons. Six tons. It's 35 million pounds. Oh my. What is the most popular candy for Halloween? Candy corn. Candy corn. What's the most popular candy for Halloween? Reese's Pieces. Snickers. Okay, well, it was chocolate, so you guys are kind of both right. Yeah. Uh. Base to point, what is the order of colors on a candy corn? Orange, yellow, white. Orange, yellow, white. Orange, yellow, white. Yellow, orange, white. It's yellow, orange, white. You got it right. I know. I love them things. <laughs> Those things are gross. <laughs> right. I could eat them things all day. <laughs> How long did it take to shoot the movie Halloween? Three months. One year. How long did it take to shoot the movie Halloween? Two years. 20 days. <laughs> It's 20 days. <laughs> Picture retakes will be on November 3rd and November 6th in the south entryway from 7 to 2 p.m. Seaman FFA is selling poinsettias this year. All poinsettias are from Jackson's Greenhouse in North Topeka and are very high quality. You can find the link order in Schoology. Viking Crew has been doing their best to adapt to the changes that we have experienced this year. Let's see how they are adjusting to this. 
Well, just like about everything else um, this year, the Viking Crew program is looking a little bit different, but we are still going to try to keep it about um, the same as much as we can. Uh, obviously, with the hybrid mode, normally we had a senior and a junior in every one of the freshman CALPs serving as mentors. And with the hybrid mode, um, those have had to be have had to been split so that we have at least one mentor that's in the first half of the alphabet and a mentor that's in the second half. And so we've had to kind of switch some things around a little bit with that. Um, but the mentors have been very flexible. Um, we probably won't be going into the CALPs as often as we had been because that's another thing is that CALP time is kind of at a premium this year because if you're in school only two days a week, you only have CALP really in person two days. So we're trying to <laughs> minimize the amount of times that we go in, but also make an effort to uh, have the mentors get to know those freshmen. Uh, I think one of the important things about this program is that you know, as freshmen, uh, coming into a high school uh, can be kind of intimidating to get involved. Um, you know, I think some are very good about doing that. That's just their personality. But I think a lot of freshmen, sometimes it's hard to put themselves out there uh, into situations um, so that they're part of the high school, you know, getting involved in clubs and activities. And so I think that helps because if you have an upperclassman that's talking to you about them, maybe inviting you to a club or an activity, um, that makes it maybe a little bit easier to do that. Um, I go into each seminar, um, I'm assigned to one, Zerm release, and we do little lessons, um, like the social and emotional lessons, and then we do games, um, and we kind of help with homework as well. Um, it really gets them engaged um, in school, um, we help them out with like clubs, um, just knowing how to get around, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. <laughs> Now on to sports. Any girls interested in trying out for this year's girls basketball team should attend in the meeting when they are at school Thursday, October 29th at 1.15 in the East Commons. This meeting will be about tryouts coming up. If you cannot attend the meeting, please email Coach Tinsley. There will be an informational meeting for Group B boys interested in joining the swim team during CALP today at 1.15 in the West Commons. Cross Country is hosting a live stream for their state meet. The 5A boys race will begin at 9.30 a.m. and the girls race will begin immediately following at 10.05 a.m. You can find the link to watch this on Schoology. Now on to Zoe with the weather. Good afternoon Vikings. All the rain and the precipitation has officially moved out of the area and the clouds are slowly going to be moving out of the area during today. As you can see by late tonight, our clouds will be completely gone out of the area and we will be sunny, warm weather from there on. As you can see today, we are going to be significantly warmer than what we were the past couple of days. And this warmth is going to be sticking around for a while. For your SPTV seven day forecast, as I said earlier, this warmth is going to be sticking around. And you can see that this weekend with our highs being up in the 60s, and our high staying there for the rest of next week. Now back to your anchor. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.